What comes to mind when you hear the term millionaire? Is it a 60-year-old man in a red Ferrari with a 20-year-old lover alongside him? Perhaps it's a fashion model on a yacht on the French Riviera, sipping champagne and eating caviar. Perhaps you picture a millionaire as a professional athlete, a well-known actress, or a plastic surgeon. The truth is that most millionaires are regular people with regular occupations. They work as farmers, mechanics, pilots, and nurses, among other things. They work as carpenters, insurance agents, and educators. What is it that makes these folks millionaires? How did they get so wealthy? Ordinary people in most vocations can accumulate wealth and become wealthy if a millionaire is defined as someone with a net worth of a million dollars or more. The following characteristics of the wealthy may surprise you and perhaps make you realize that building wealth is attainable for almost anyone. Chris Hogan performed the largest survey of millionaires, interviewing over 10,000 people. Let's look at some common millionaire myths and see if your stereotype is broken. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Millionaires do not inherit their entire fortune. Did you realize that roughly 80% of millionaires did not inherit anything? In fact, the majority of millionaires are first-generation rich, which means they've worked hard and made wise decisions. Their parents did not lend them money to start a business, and they did not simply walk into a profitable firm. Quite the contrary, in fact. 80% of millionaires came from low-income families. They devised a strategy, adhered to it, and became millionaires without inheriting any money. Only a small number, around 3%, inherit $1 million or more, which is considerably different from what most people believe. The vast majority of affluent people amass their fortunes through saving, investing, and living within their means. This includes not eating out five times a week, driving costly cars, wearing fancy apparel, and taking lavish vacations. Think again if you believe you will never be wealthy because you did not inherit a large sum of money or inherit a trust fund. Millionaires are statistically no more likely than anyone else to get an inheritance. Wealthy people do not take uncalculated financial risks. The vast majority of millionaires amass their riches quietly and steadily, avoiding foolish risks. They'd apply simple, perhaps even tedious, investing methods over time with high possibilities of success and moderate rates of return. Rich people choose assets that balance risk and reward, but most significantly, they stick to their goal of investing on a regular basis. The naive may argue that investing is too dangerous, especially with huge sums of money. The truth is that there are risks at every level of life. Driving to work increases your chances of being involved in an accident. Traveling by plane to a beach resort is dangerous. Every day we encounter and handle varied degrees of risk. Aren't you taking a tremendous risk by not investing money for your future but you won't be able to live the way you want in your retirement years? Failure to invest may result in bankruptcy. That's dangerous. Millionaires recognize that there is a risk-reward balance, yet risk can be controlled with knowledge. Most millionaires did not get wealthy overnight. As appealing as it may sound to become a billionaire soon, the average millionaire did not become one until the age of 49, and they spent 28 years working, saving, and investing before becoming a millionaire. Not quite old, but neither young nor old. The notion that most successful people are on a fast pathway to fortune is a misconception. Some of them became wealthy by participating in professional sports or becoming musicians. Although these are few and far between, three out of every four millionaires stated that their success is due to steady, long-term investing. Consider a typical annual salary of $59,000. Starting at the age of 24, they might save 15% of their income, or $739 each month, at a 10% rate of return, and have more than a million dollars by the age of 50. This also assumes staying at the same wage rate for the entire 26 years. When you accumulate wealth over time, you learn how to manage it wisely. We've all heard of the overnight millionaire who blew his fortune in a few months. 
Lottery winners have a 70% probability of losing their winnings in a matter of years. Why is this the case? Because they lack the wealth mentality and understanding required to allocate significant sums of money. The wealthy accumulate wealth patiently and deliberately over time. Few wealthy people have obtained expensive educations. Almost 80% of millionaires did not attend pricey private schools with tuition paid for by their parents. The vast majority, more than 60%, attended public schools. Approximately 10% attended community college, while 10% never graduated from college. Most people believe that an Ivy League graduate is destined to become a millionaire. This is a fallacy fostered by high-priced universities and organizations that profit from student debt. There is no relationship between a person's wealth and the expense of their education. There is a link between the cost of tuition and the amount of student debt a student carries upon graduation. And this debt usually lasts for a long time. The average monthly student debt payment for a 20-year-old graduate is more than $350. If that money had been invested in an index fund instead, that 20-year-old would have roughly $3 million by the age of 65. Most people have no problem spending this much money on student loans, but putting it into a retirement fund may surprise you. It's surprising to hear that nearly 70% of millionaires never took out a single school debt. The majority of rich people do not have well-paying occupations. This one may surprise you and dispel your misconception about millionaires. Most people believe that all millionaires are CEOs, actors, or the owners of highly successful firms. Engineers, accountants, and teachers are the top three jobs among the 10,000 millionaires polled in Chris Hogan's Everyday Millionaire Survey. Despite the fact that the average salary is roughly $50,000, teaching is one of the most prevalent jobs held by millionaires. Engineers make an average of $91,000 a year, while accountants make an average of $79,000. Those aren't exactly high earnings, especially when you consider how much of it might be gobbled away by income taxes. How does that square with your perception of a millionaire? One third of millionaires never had a household income of six figures in a single year. It only goes to show that getting wealthy is possible for almost anyone who is willing to save, spend carefully, and invest on a regular basis. Wealthy folks do not drive pricey new cars. Would you be surprised to learn that the majority of millionaires do not all drive brand new luxury cars? The majority of them drive four-year-old cars with an average mileage of roughly 40,000 kilometers. Approximately 80% of wealthy people do not finance new cars and instead pay cash for them. They have a car savings account that they replenish every month in order to pay for the automobile when they buy it. Consider it like making a car payment to yourself. If you see someone you know driving a new and costly car, chances are they aren't wealthy at all and are simply choosing to finance an appreciating item beyond their means. Just because someone wants to appear wealthy does not necessarily imply that they are. Paying cash for a vehicle also limits overspending because you can only spend what you've saved rather than what you're approved for. Wealthy people maintain their wealth by avoiding unneeded debt and paying cash for significant purchases such as cars. The notion that all wealthy people are celebrities stems from what we see on the internet and on television. Contrary to popular opinion, the majority of millionaires are ordinary people who live in ordinary communities. They don't usually drive flashy cars or hold prestigious positions in huge corporations, and they don't inherit their wealth. Those who want to be millionaires are often realistic and sensible people who understand the need of not squander or borrow big sums of money and instead purchase products that bring value. Today's millionaires are people who live within their means, spend sensibly, and prioritize investing so that their money grows even when they are not working. As we conclude, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video and learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. I would deeply value it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will help us to create more valuable content, and we can work together to secure your financial future. What are the key takeaways from this video that you can share in the comment section?